fine so now we'll take atoms question this came in 1994 came in 1994 for 5 marks so hydrogen atom hydrogen like hy uh, atom okay with atomic number z this is not hydrogen atom hydrogen like is in higher excited state of quantum number n quantum number n it is in excited state the excited atom can make a transition to first excited state this can go to what is the first excited state 2 so n1 equal to 2 n1 equal to n from n it goes to n equal to 2 by emitting two photons of 10.2 electron volt and 17 electron volt respectively okay this is given understood right atomic number z x that is an excited state n goes to n equal to 2 by emitting two photons successively yes sir alternatively the atom from the same excited state can make a transition to second excited state as in from n to it goes to 3 by emitting two photons of 4.25 electron volt and 5.95 electron volts respectively okay determine the value of n and z just write down two equations you'll get what is given is ionization energy for hydrogen atom is 13.6 electron volt which i guess you know it already You know the formula. Energy in the nth orbit for hydrogen-like atom is what? R into the square root. This is thirteen point six by n square n. z square. So definitely, the value of n should be more than three, right? Because it talks about uh, jumping to n equal to three. Yes, yes. So is n five? Is n five? Question number twenty. No. N is not given as five. You might have done some silly error. Okay, should I do it? A very silly error. So six, right? Yeah, it is six. Okay, let me do it now. So the atomic number is Z, right? And let's say quantum number is n. So energy in the nth state should be this, and energy in the second state will be equal to what? Will be equal to thirteen point six divided by two square, which is four, right? This into Z square. Now, what is the difference in these two energy levels? It will be sum of these two. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Right, uh, Kondanya and Ramcharan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Six. This, oh, you you got thirty. You you got six, right? Yes, sir. And Kondanya, you got. So no, sir. Okay, so see, I am not converting electron volt into joules because uh, you know I am uh, finding the left hand side energy also in terms of electron volt. this is your first equation and then uh, you can uh, write the second one also 13.6 divided by 3 square into z square minus 13.6 by n square z square is equal to 4.25 plus 5.95 Right, so this is your equation number two. Fine. 
so if you subtract them you uh, you will get uh, you know only z uh, in the expression and you'll get z as uh, 6 okay and then you substitute the value of z in the first equation you'll get the value of n are you guys clear yes sir yes sir okay now the natural tendency when you start solving this question is to try to find out that it emits two photons so what is the intermediate level right from n yeah. it goes to which level and then n equal to 2 it goes right so that that is what is our natural tendency because that that's how we are trained to solve every question we go step by step manner okay but then if you uh, look at what is given and what you have to find okay so you'll get a direct relation between initial and final are you getting it yes yes okay let us take another question okay this came in 2002 for 5 marks when i wrote j and i don't even remember whether i got it correct or not <laughs> okay so hydrogen like atom again it's a hydrogen like atom it's not a hydrogen atom uh is observed to emit six wavelengths okay it can emit six wavelengths fine so it can emit six different types of photons originating from all possible transitions between the group of level so all possible transition is happening and you are getting six different wavelengths okay these levels have energies between minus 0.85 electron volt and minus of 0.544 electron volt fine right? so this is your initial energy and this is your final i mean between these two energy levels six wavelengths are containing you need to find out first the atomic number which is z z is equal to what and second as a first you find out the atomic number then we'll talk about the second Okay, are you guys stuck or able to proceed? Stuck. Oh, oh stuck. So six po six possible wavelengths. So right. So which level? So that means from fourth fourth level. Fourth level. Because how? Because fourth is two equal to six, right? Right. So if you see that number of wavelengths that are emitted when it is at nth state is n c two, right? so n into n minus 1 into 2 this should be equal to 6 so n should be equal to 4 fine so this is clear cut so that but so this is when it's uh, to the uh, from some level to the ground state no all possible so if it is at n equal to 4 then if it is here then only it will emit 6 different wavelengths otherwise 6 is not possible so this is from 4 to 1 it can also be from 5 to 2 like that right no you're not getting it what i'm trying to say here see if you are at n equal to 4 only 6 possible wavelengths are there if you are at n equal to 5 then how many possible wavelengths are there 5 into 4 divided by 2 10 wavelengths are there okay but the question says that it emits six wavelength originating from all possible transitions so only n equal to 4 has exactly six because you can't stop at n equal to 2 the second possible transition is from 2 to 1 but it can't go below 1 Are you getting it, Ramcharan? Yes, sir. 
okay so we got that initial level is 4 okay now this is the energy in the fourth 0.85 electron volt fine oh sorry ramcharan you are correct you are correct it uh, it says that all possible transition between these two energy levels oh okay so uh, it it's not uh, all possible uh, transition till the ground level it need not be till the ground level okay but one thing is clear that whatever is happening there if this is n1 what should be this n1 plus 3 are you clear about it yes sir right so if n1 correspond to energy let us say this is uh, this will have lower energy right so energy corresponding to n1 should be equal to minus of 0.85 minus of 0.85 electron volt and energy corresponding to n1 plus 3 should be equal to minus of 0.544 electron volt there you go you'll get two equation minus 13.6 divided by n square z square this will be equal to minus of 0.85 okay this is equation number one and you will be getting minus 13.6 by n plus 3 whole square into z square this is equal to what minus of point Five four four. You got these two equations, right? Yes, yes. Yes. So sir. if you if you divide them, you will get rid of z. Basically, you will get n plus three divided by n. This will come out to be square root of point eight five divided by point five four four. It is little calculation intensive, but uh, yes. are you able to do it? Anyways, once you solve this, you will get answer thirty three. So n equal to twelve, you will be getting. Okay, you will get n equal to twelve. You might have to use log and anti log to solve this particular question. Fine. Yes, sir. Okay, let us move to next question. See, you might be appreciating the questions which are actually coming in the exam. They are different from the routine question which uh, you guys might be practicing. Okay, so. Uh, I mean, make sure you uh, you solve the past year J questions. Okay, I mean, I'm not saying that you should do it uh, right away or uh, finish it off very quickly. But keep in your mind that before taking the J exam, or uh, let's say J advance, or take some. I mean, have some target in mind. Suppose by February or end of February, you should be done with past year J questions. These questions are must before you take uh, J exam. Okay, let's do this question. This came in 2006 for six marks. All right, so in a hydrogen like atom, the atomic number is 11. All right, the nth line. nth line of Lyman, you know, right? Lyman series. Yes, yes. So what? What, what yes, is? Sir. What is the lower quanta number in Lyman series? N one is equal to one. One. Good. So nth line of Lyman series has 
a wavelength lambda okay and it is given that de broglie wavelength de broglie wavelength of the electron in the level okay in the level from which it originated let me read this statement again the de broglie's wavelength of the electron in the level from which it originated is also lambda getting the question yes sir you have to find the value of n what is this principal quantum number let me know if you have not understood the question i'll read it again so could you read it once more okay in a hydrogen like atom where z is equal to 11 nth line of lyman series has wavelength lambda okay nth line of lyman series has wavelength lambda the de broglie's wavelength of electron in which de broglie wavelength of electron in the level from which it originated is also lambda find the value of n i hope you have understood the question nth line of lyman series means what is the quantum number is it n no quantum number is 1 no the second quantum number is 1 it should land up in n equal to 1 but from where okay yeah from the nth orbit no it is nth line it is not nth quantum number so the n plus 1 n plus 1 Uh, should i do it so no so so calculate yeah. acha by the way the bohr's model the second postulate which says that uh, mvr is equal to nh by 2 pi this is valid for hydrogen like atoms also there is no atomic number though in this okay and uh, you know uh, if you combine de broglie and the bohr's model you should also get 2 pi r should be equal to n times lambda where n is a quantum number okay so these are the hints now can you try it out where r is equal to 0.5 acha i think i said 53 uh, uh, armstrong is the bohr's radius the first orbit that's not correct actually it is 0.52 armstrong okay 0.529 yes, into n square by z this is the radius of the nth orbit for a bohr's so sorry for uh, for a hydrogen like atom if if a quantum number is n plus 1 then you can just substitute the value of n here as n plus 1 okay so you will be getting here as 2 pi r is equal to n plus 1 times lambda right and r is what r is 0.529 into n square now here n is n plus 1 this is n plus 1 square by z this is equal to n plus 1 times lambda okay so you will be able to get the value of lambda from here lambda will be equal to 2 pi 0.529 divided by z is given 11 fine 
this into n plus 1. This should be the value of lambda. Okay, fine. And it is given, this is using uh, this de Broglie condition. This is the wavelength of the electron at n plus 1th level, which is nth line of Lyman series. Okay, this is your first equation. And this wavelength should also be the wavelength of the photon that is emitted from the nth line, which is what, which is given by this equation. One by lambda should be equal to Rigberg constant into z square also, right? Yes, sir. So Rigberg constant z square. multiplied by one divided by n plus one whole square. Sorry, the first level I should write it as one Lyman series, one square minus one divided by n plus one whole square. Okay. So if you use these two equations, okay. You can write down the value of n plus 1 from here and substitute it here. You'll get the value of lambda. Getting it? So these are the two equations. Lambda and n, they are the two variables and you'll get the answer. Okay? Okay.